Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Red Dragon tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the Red Dragon M913. The Red Dragon M913 is a 16,000 DPI 2.4 GHz wireless and wired gaming mouse with 400 IPS tracking speed, 40G acceleration, and 20 programmable buttons, including 12 on the side, numpad, 2 DPI buttons, a scroll wheel button, left and right click, and a rapid fire button. On top of that, it has a waterproof coating and a 1000 mAh battery capacity with 4 hours fast charging time. In this video, we will cover how to program and remap the buttons and make your own custom macros. So here you'll see the software for the mouse, which you can download off reddragonshop.com. On the main screen, you'll immediately see the interface to program and customize each of the buttons on the diagram. You can select the button you want to program, so for example, if I want to program the 10th button on the mouse, I click on the number 10, and if you go to the drop down menu, you'll see that there's already a wide variety of selection of options you can program the button to. Once you select your choice, make sure to click the apply button at the bottom of the screen so you can send the new mapping to your mouse, which you can do both wirelessly and wired. Now to set the macros, you want to navigate over to the macros page over here, and here you'll see that I already made a couple of macros of my own. To create a new macro, you just go to the button here and click New Macro, then type the macro you want to create, so let's say I want to make the cut shortcut, and then all you have to do is go over to the Start Record button, and that will start recording whatever input you make on your keyboard. So if I go to Start Record, so it's recording now, so I just go on my keyboard, Control X, and make sure you click Stop Record when you're done making your macro. Um, if you want to add more to your macro or delete certain steps in your macro without having to record it again, you can do so down here. You can just select which step of the macro that you want to change or delete, and you just select Modify or the Delete button here. Then to set your new macro uh, onto the mouse, you go back to the main tab. Well, first you want to make sure you save. And then you go back to the main tab. And let's say I want to change this number 10 to the new macro I just made, which is cut. So you go down to this drop down menu, you click on macro, and it's going to show up your list of all the macros that you've created. Now I want to select cut, and then select OK. And you'll see that this new button is now select, set to do my new macro cut. And then I just have to hit apply, and you'll get this loading screen, and it'll load your new map to your mouse. And that's it! It's a really easy process, um, and that's one of the things that I like about it. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Peace.